If you have just finished watching the windows video, you should have four walls with a door and a window inserted into one of the walls. If not, you can review the previous videos, download the file in this video's description, or simply follow along, as much of the information is not specific to this file. Architectural objects in TurboCAD are parametric, meaning they are described by, you guessed it, parameters. Doors and windows have several parameters, some of which are of the selected entity, and others are parameters of the style. Some parameters, such as materials, can be changed in both the style and entity properties, with options for the entity properties to override those of the style. While this may seem complicated, there is a method to the madness. We are going to start by taking a look at styles, but first let's change camera properties to use a draft render mode. Right-click the teacup icon on the properties toolbar to bring up camera properties. Check draft render, select Red SDK or Lightworks as rendering type, then hit OK. You may receive a message about default lights. If this comes up, go ahead and hit yes. Now the 3D model should appear shaded. Now open the Style Manager palette from the Tools menu. Notice there are styles from different architectural and text objects. Hit the plus sign next to Door to view the door styles available in the current drawing. Let's select Single as that is the door style currently in use. Notice that several groups of different properties are available in the Style Manager palette. Under Dimension, you will see parameters that affect the size of the door elements controlled by styles. Change the frame depth to 8 inches. Then hit the check mark near the top of the palette to update the style. Let's switch to a different view to see the difference. As you can see from the top view, the door frame is no longer flush with the wall. Now switch back to an isometric view while we go over some of the other parameters. Under Design, we see parameters that alter the overall appearance of the door. If you have the Platinum Edition of TurboCAD, you will see parameters for door type, shape, profile, muttons, and blocks. Since it's in all editions of TurboCAD, let's take a look at door type. In TurboCAD Deluxe and Pro Basic, you will only have a single and double door type available. Try switching to a different door type and viewing the changes. Now switch back to a single door. If we had multiple doors of the same style, the changes we made to the style would update any doors of that style in the drawing. Let's add some additional windows so we can see this in action. Uh-oh, I just realized that these needed to be picture windows. Hit Ctrl T to bring up Select by Entity Type, then select Window from this dialog. Now open the Selection Info Palette and change the style from Awning Transfer to Picture under General Properties. Now back to the Style Manager Palette. Under Windows you will see styles for Standard, Awning Transfer, and Picture Windows. Go ahead and select Picture. Now open Materials and select a Glass Material. Since it's available in both Red SDK and Lightworks renderers, I will go with mostly clear glass. Once I have selected my glass material, I can hit the check mark to see the changes. Notice how these changes were made to all of the windows? Now it's time to go over properties. Select one of the windows visible in your drawing, then open up the selection info palette. Just like any other entity, properties contain parameters specific to that individual entity. Open up basic. Here we can change the basic properties of the window. For fun, let's make the window square. Now let's move the top of the window to match the top of the door. Open location, then change the head height to 6 foot 8 inches. Finally, let's override the glass material of this window only. Open up materials, check use object materials, and select a different glass material. And that's about it for this video. As you can see, properties of a style affect all of the entities of that style, while properties of an entity only affect that entity.